Hey y'all, I'm Courtney. And I'm Sarah. And this is Modest Siblings. The podcast where we read all the books we used to steal off our grandmother's nightstands. And then we drink about it. Happy birthday to me. We are reading a monster fucking book. On today's episode, we read Electrified by the Eel by Harpy Alexa. This book does have monster fucking. Woohoo. It's got a cop beaten to death. It's got a gang leader named Rick. Now, for for serious, it does have gang leader Rick being raped to death by Lady Eels. So if you the, don't feel bad about it, though, honestly. You really don't. It's kind of women empowerment in a weird gross way. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, happy birthday to me. Uh, we decided to go off off book a little bit, and we are doing a contemporary book. Um, we are doing monster fucking. Monster fucking. I've enjoyed a monster fucking I, I also have enjoyed a monster fucking um, romance. Uh, like, which monster fucking romances have you read? I have read one of the ones that really comes to mind, and it this one was weird for me because these are the type of – I am typically the person – that if you give me any kind of insectoid thing, I'm like, no. You know, like, District 9 was supposed to be a parable about blah, 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 blah. And you're, like, spraying with raid? I hated, <laughs> I like, any kind of cricket flying thing. Like, no, absolutely not. But one I can suggest that I really enjoyed was Strange Love, an alien abduction romance by Anne Aguirre. Um, And it's, like, an insectoid dude who's, like, a loser down on his luck. Um, so I've read those. I've read the Ice Planet Barbarians ones. Um but so you didn't read the orc ones, did you? I don't know. Yeah, orc. Oh, I read the lady and the orc. I read the first one, um, and it, it's funny. It's 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 all about like just a lot of semen, like just flounds, gobs. Yeah, gobs. And, which is not kind of my jam. So actually, what I was more interested in in that book was the story. <laughs> like, I think I, you would like the story. I wanted level. I wanted the orcs to be okay. I also read, um, and I can genuinely recommend uh, a lady of Rick's Grave Manor, where a lady takes a job um, as like a monster sex worker and she acquires a little harem of like it's like the invisible man who's not even supposed to be there and guess how she gets caught fucking the invisible man oh how you would imagine um and dr jekyll slash mr hyde and she's got a vampire and she's got like a sphinx like she's got her little coterie by the end of it and i like that one uh, quite a bit I, um there is usually with this sort of thing i do like a novella on this because eventually you're like i have read 200 pages and it's just you fucking <laughs> I mean, we like, aren't all, you tired? Aren't you sore? We, you know, also we are with an, you know, an established, oh, esteemed shit. authoress of <laughs> monster fucking. Books. Every so often, I get a few pennies from the book that I will not tell you which one is mine. Essentially, Sarah got shit faced and wrote a, a, a romance about the lizard man. Now, if you're from South Carolina, you know the lizard man's hot. But the lizard not, man's obviously hot. If you're not from South Carolina, I suggest looking up the lizard man. He is our Besides Vanna White, he is our number one celebrity. Yes, it's true. He's our local cryptid. Yeah. He will eat the chrome off your car and maybe suck the chrome off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we decided that we'd, get, we'd break a little bit and go with a contemporary book. And this one is by Harpy Alexa. Um, love her name. Their name. I'm assuming it's her. Born and raised in Canada, a uh, best-selling author, fascinated with the paranormal between watching the stars late at night for UFOs and telling creepy stories later, <laughs> later after dark to scare her friends. Harpy imagined worlds where the possibilities were endless. Um, and so this one, Electrified by the Eel, is part of her paranormal monster romance. You can also get Captured by the Centaur. Um, and she wrote that one with Charity Wells. And then Tarnished by the Troll. Um, and then claimed by the claimed by the demon so ah. the cover is one of those torso covers where you can tell like he's kind of got that murder business below the waist but you can't really see it that well i don't know why he has nipples i don't know it's kind of a mammal thing y'all i don't know but i mean <laughs> i feel like this is very in keeping with this month or you know we're in gemini season and this gemini season has already given us mer people on netflix and the new little mermaid so we're we're yeah, keeping, it, we're keeping it in the sea under the sea yes yes um do you want to read the you want to hear the jacket copy i obviously do a male hell bent on sticking out his mating heat alone <laughs> he sticks something out if you don't know yeah. I mean. too bad fate has other plans the safe house was supposed to protect her from the dangerous man she was testifying against, but it didn't. With no way of escape, Luna does the only thing she can. She runs. 
straight into the creepy woods behind her home. One small misstep leads to sends her careening into a pool of water, and she can't find the surface. Elar has taken every precaution he can to avoid the brutal and emotionless females who want to rut him, only to steal his offspring away. Now his mating heat has arrived, and he suddenly sends a female in his waters. Electrified by the eel is a steamy 28,000-word paranormal run short, short with some dark elements. Warning, triggers for violence and drowning. It doesn't mention that, like, the dude gets raped to death? No. That's, no. that's not part of it. Okay. All right, so the book opens with Luna. Well, wait. No, no, no. Before the book opens, you had to know that there's a, a, a preface. And the preface explains that normally she would just jump into the fucking, but she really felt that she had to write backstories for these people. So it literally says, if you just want the fucking go to chapter five. Um, I love that for her. I, I love that she's like straight to the point. She had not written this backstory because this backstory is not the best part of this book. It's not the best part. <laughs> but I, I understand. Like, I mean... Why is the woman electrified by a kneel? So the book opens with Luna, who is in a cabin in the woods. Like a witness protection safe house. Yes, because she has she was a cook or something, and she like was out trying to feed a stray dog, and she comes out, and she sees gang, gangland leader Rick. <laughs> I love this. I love it. Beating a cop to death. And so she, you know, has been told she has to testify, um, but they'll protect her. Because he's a gangland leader named uh, Rick, y'all. Yeah. Rick. I'm not super scared. Uh, and uh, she's also feeding a stray cat. Yeah. Liara <laughs> is the cat's name. I can't really remember. And guess this. what? Here's Rick. Oh, no. She runs away. She actually says, you'll never get away with this. Yeah. There's like <laughs> the, like some of the lines that are like really, really hokey. Right, yeah. But y'all just bear with us. So like Rick's like, ha, ha, ha. I found you. Blah, blah, blah. Like it's, I'm going to rape you to death. It feels very like, you know, one of those like. 1920s like the, the yeah. like silent film Carol like, of Pauline yeah, yeah so you know she's running from him and he keeps like chasing her and she ends up in like this the woods get kind of weird and ooky mm-hmm. like all of a sudden there's all these little lights and like she's like what's happening ah. meanwhile so we, we this book has like where it you know deviates from voice so while she's dealing with Rick the gangland leader notorious gangland leader Rick <laughs> <laughs> We go to Elara, who is like Elar, I think. Yeah, Elar. Elar. Elar is like, these bitches aren't getting me this time. So he's like made his his dirty like but I have an issue with a pond. I don't love a pond. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna make Evidently this pond is huge. He's like, I'm gonna make my pond impenetrable because like all these eel ladies wanna do is just fuck me and like I don't get to see my kids. The thing is, okay, so eels- I don't know how- <laughs> uh, for one thing, I, in real life, eels have this very mysterious mate. Like we don't know I love what that eels you're like do. in real life about like uh, the eel where, fucking book. I mean, but I mean, okay, so even in this book, so they have a bunch of kids and then they let them go because that's their reproductive well, strategy. Well, no, like I got yeah, but he's like, I just want to like raise my kids. Yeah, well, if all the little sea turtles survive, we would be overrun with sea turtles. That'd be amazing. Anyway, so. He's like, not today, not this year. You're not getting me. And like, you're not just taking my seed. Elar is you know. like, he's hot commodity because you find out like the eel population is like, you know, dwindling. So he's like, I'm going to get all these fish and I'm going to make this the most like scent divergent pond and they'll never find me now. And I got all these weeds. And so at the same time, he is like he's a constant like, boner, like math. He's like, this was a bad third. idea. I need to like, I need to have some. Like some, he's hurting himself, popping his. This is what I like about a monster fucking book. They explain what you get in, yes. in the genital department because they have to. No other romance novel, any kind of human romance novel is just like, it's a big is. It's a hardness. It's a whatever. No, a monster fucking book is like, this is exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> He's got a slit that it comes out of, and it's got like a little fringe and stuff. It's Yeah, it's got fronds at the at the tip for yeah. her pleasure. Yeah. So he's, you know, he's reinforcing his impenetrable wall to make sure the eel ladies cannot get him. Meanwhile, she is Luna like... Luna is running for her life from gangland leader rick <laughs> but don't worry because all of a sudden some of the eyes that she's seeing resolve themselves into giant sexy eel ladies eel ladies and they've got like skate like hot scales and then cold scales they look hot they did and they're like hey girl 
you okay? And she's like, no, I'm not okay. This guy's trying to murder him. Like, he wants to rape me to death and then murder me. Like, you know, those are two different things, raping to death and the murder. <laughs> and they're like, we got you. They're like, hey, leave that girl alone. No means no. And he's like, no. You know, they're like, ha, ha, ha. No means no, but only when a lady says mm-hmm. it. So they're like, they're like, hey. You got to run back that way. You're in the halfway place. Like you're you're in. If you stay here, you'll never get back to your own world. So you better hoof it. Meanwhile, I'm going to bite him and put boner venom in him. And then we are going to rape him to death. And we're like, we've got a low population. So we'll take what we can get. And he's like, Luna's like, sorry, not sorry. Bye, Rick. Gangland leader. (laughs) And so she continues to try to find a home, but of course she can't. And she falls into a pond, which turns out to be a giant pond. And anyway, poor Elar is like, what is that? I smell, I smell pussy. Yeah. Like she gets caught in some like pond weed because he's set up all these like traps or whatever. She has the capacity of a Korean like a diver woman like she well we uh, find out too that like she can breathe underwater well, she doesn't know that no i know <laughs> that but like all of a sudden she's like hey i can breathe it sucks but i can do this like this isn't comfortable but like i'm somehow not dead and he goes to get her i appreciate that harpy lex i put that in there because i was like how are you gonna work around this breathing thing uh-huh. But he like, wants to have her underwater instead of on the shore because he doesn't like how Because he's an eel. Well no, he no, like the <laughs> eel ladies take him on the shore. He's their an eel, eel gender politics are are it's crazy. I don't know. I have a lot of comments on those. But so like and, but he eventually because she's obviously afraid of dying, and he keeps breathing for her, but eventually he like takes her up on a shore, which is like his little grotto. Well, hold on. The first time they like so he gets her. He gets her. He's got her and he's, his, his eel leg or his his eel tail. His he's eel like, leg. I love it. And he's like, hey. And she's like, hey. <laughs> he's like, I'm into you. And she's like, yeah, me too. He's like, all right. Well, the first time. Meanwhile, he, she's drowning. Yeah. <laughs> so he the, like rips her clothes off. Yeah, he rips her clothes off. The first time they, I think they do it. It's just oral. Yeah, he's like, I'm into this. And he, like, basically uses his tail to sit her on his face, which is very Lord Voldemort-y. And I'm, <laughs> I'm pretending that that doesn't exist because, like, she describes him as having, like, yellow eyes and, like, having a, like, flat slit nose and being bald. And I was like, oh, so eh, she's, like, getting yeah. it from Voldemort. But then he just takes his tail and sits her on his face and he's, like, going downtown and she is into it. But also she would like to breathe. Yeah. You know, so he's like, well. I'm going to take you. She's like, can I please go up to the water? And he's like, I'll get you a little bit of air. And then he's like, here's some air. And he comes back down and he starts kissing air into her. And he's like, well, I'm going to take you to my den. And he's got a den. But there's nothing in it. It's unfurnished. It's a bachelor den. It's a sad little den. And yeah, and they do it. And then they oh do my, it. No, we're going to talk about the den. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay. So they do it. But y'all, this do like, where the book kind of was like, meh, with gangland leader rick and i'll get you for this and yeah. like this sex is good oh it is good it's very good because of course like he has a very large eel dick he's got a uh, big eel dick so she with has to kind of like and then he's got little bands on like his wrist and like his tail that he's are he's electric he, he's an electric eel y'all and like he is using that electro yes. shock simulation it is very hot and i was like yeah and then after that like you know he she, he's kind of dismissive of her after they actually do it and then uh like you know and, and she's like i need to go home because i need food and some pants yeah and he's like no you can't leave blah and, like he like leaves he he like he's very he has a little snitch I like in these, you know what I have noticed in monster fucking books? What, it, like, the, the trend I have read is that monster, the monsters. Very emotionally open. Well, they're also betas. Like, they're yeah. beta, beta tight men. And I, or, or, you know, monsters. <laughs> but I love that. So he's like, eh. He's like, oh, she doesn't want me. Bah. But really, she just wants pants and a sandwich. Yeah. So and- he comes back. <laughs> And well, then she's, she's like, like, she gets all horny again. She's like, please come back. And he's like, here I am. Boom, 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 boom. And he like picks her up with his tail and is flipping her around. But I think before that, there's the bit where she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Are you tired? Because I bet. And then she goes and she goes licking around his slit. Yes. To, she, to she bring like it out. It. Yes. And it's very. He's, of course, never had a blowjob before because uh, the eel ladies are just kind of like. Eel ladies are Amazons that just yeah. do it. Yeah. They so just do it. Nobody's ever given him like a tongue. This and he's like, before. this is the most amazing thing ever that's ever happened to me. Oh, my God. And there's even a bit about how like it's kind of forbidden for him to be on top of her. Yes. And yeah. we're doing it from behind. Yeah. And then they do it from behind. But I I thought there was going to be some butt stuff and there never was. Well, yes, he keeps using that tail. Exactly. I, like, I thought that was going to kind of come up. This sex of this is amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, I was. I had to say, yeah. Fully into it. I was like, your, your man's got no legs, but like. He don't need no legs. He don't need no legs. No, he, he does not need, no need the legs. Like, well, so this goes on for some they are time. Do. They're banging it a lot. And then they come up finally. He brings her her clothes back, which turns out they were only lightly ripped, so she ties them back together. But they come up, come up, and then there's the lady eels. And they're like, excuse me. You have broken all the rules. You were supposed to be available for breeding. We were going to compete to breed you. And she's like, I've been bred. <laughs> yeah, like she uses now? her late. She uses her human like like L.A. law, like <laughs> smart sense to be like, well, you know what? Nobody was here to like you know battle me for him, so I claimed him. He's mine, and I claim him now and forever. And then a lady, another lady eel, tries to attack her, and like the queen eel is like, no, we don't do that either because mm-hmm. you know we're we're lady centric. It's yeah. a matriarchal society. She's like, we don't do that. Sorry. Next year, you might have a problem. She's like, now she's like, and he's basically like, I just want to know my kids. I wanted to be like it used to be where people got courted and you brought me seaweed and flowers <laughs> and candy. And the, the and I kind of like what the, what the queen eel said. She's like, OK, I'll obviously, think about this. yeah, we're not going to work this out today. Which is actually how this thing should go. I, this is a big question. Yeah, she's like, I got to go talk to the other eel council and we'll figure it out. But she's like, but hey, you human, be prepared if you got to battle some... I don't. I felt like these things were like twenty feet long. I had no. <laughs> yeah, they're large. I feel. I was like, like you're gonna make this bitch like fight it like a lady. Uh, she'll just go home and buy a fucking gun, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can't get back. Like, so, <laughs> so. But the book ends with her pregnant with however many eel boys. At least three. But the thing is, she's like living in a little grass hut. She's got no TV. She's got no Netflix. She she's does got have no the books. cat. The cat came back. Okay, the cat came back. And the she's very like, next I day. miss cheeseburgers and chocolate, but I get that eel dick all the rag. So okay, I'm happy. there's all. Only so much. I mean, okay, maybe the first six months of eel dick. That's enough to oh like God, I would fill want, your days. I would want pants. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would want a book a, or cho- again chocolate. Chocolate is amazing. I mean, what kind of seaweed is she eating? Does she have to like? Know, like is she eating fish? fish is that all the time? Like, girl, go. pond fish? Like just catfish? Like you can't just go to the world and get some shit back. Like, but yeah, so she ends up, we don't know if she has to fight an eel. No, but we don't know how many eel babies she has within her either. But Harvey Alexa does say that she wanted to turn this into a full length book. Well, I want to know what happens with the eel politics. I really do. I am so interested in eel politics. Like, is there an eel council? Do you get voted on the eel council? Are men not allowed on the eel council? I'm assuming that it is is like the Amazons in Wonder Woman, like the movies, and they're all hot like Robin Wright, except they are also bald eels. But do they like, is there like, do we have, do we have to have rights for male eel voting? No. Like, no, <laughs> no. What happened to Rick? Did Rick just get fucked to death? Yes, he did. They, did they, they made that very clear. Did they eat him? Like, what do I they, mean, why not? What do the eels eat? I need to know. Like, there's a point in the book where he's like, well, I don't, too bad I don't have any bed, but I can just roll up my 20 foot tail and she'll sleep on that. <laughs> I was like, that is uncomfortable. Like, yes. But That's I also all muscle. Like he, I mean, <laughs> I do like that he built her her own little place so they both have separate spaces. Yeah, so and she doesn't have to breathe water all the time. No, she doesn't have to breathe water. And in the den, it's air based. But what kind of prenatal care is she getting? And I mean, like, how is she getting prenatal care at all? Who is is she? Like, does she have a doctor? Like, is there an opposite? Like. Is there an eel obstetrician? It was clear that they did take humans. Uh, like, like, like they specifically said to Rick, like, oh, yeah, we need some of that good human, like strong blood. Yes. So this is obviously not the first human they fucked. Do you think that, like, <laughs> like, is there an eel obstetrician that comes and sees her? Does she have eel pills? Like, 
Is there like, yeah, I, I have so many. And how did it or, not occur to her? Or does she lay eggs? Or does she lay live eel babies? Okay, the thing is, they don't know how he- eels do that at all. Eels, okay, they used to be a mystery. They used to think that it was like a spontaneous generation thing. Then they found out like in the 1800s that the eels in, in Britain come from the Sargasso fucking sea. I don't like, I don't, I don't like an eel. I will tell you that. Eels gross me out. I they're two whatever but i was into this book because you know what i, I kept thinking of it as more snaky yeah, yeah and yeah. less eely and or more just like merman i don't appreciate like i'm not gonna like the brits and their eel like eating eels oh jelly eels like it came up all the time because um my the the book group that i facilitate for work we read um graham swiss waterland which is very much about eels all the time so me and my uh my co-worker just kept on sending these links about eel rent and eel recipes and the last like a restaurant in london where you can get like this jellied eel ghastly pot oh, oh my like the only God. eels i will eels. entertain is one of the electric eel because that's a badass motherfucker. That's true. That's a badass motherfucker. And the more eel, because he always looks shocked. Uh, that is a. a He's always like making that face. Yeah. Always like, Whoa. I saw a bunch in the shed aquarium in uh, in Chicago, and I do like it. I like the look of the eels. I, I, that wolf eel is creepy, but I think he's kind of cool. I don't. I don't appreciate. But like again, you know what? It's also like maybe I have a little bit of a bias because the again the only freshwater eel I will contend with is the electric eel. But give me a saltwater eel over a freshwater eel all the time. I don't. Racist. I, I, yes. I don't <laughs> like an eel. So, but again, it, it is a testament to Harvey Alexa's sex writing skills that I was into this eel. No, absolutely. Even though I do want to know, like, how Luna is supposed to, like, <laughs> have these eels. Uh, I mean, it would be easier than a human baby. I mean, I guess I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Just like you're just walking around one day and like it's a little splash. I don't know. Like, what do you have to do? Like, does she have to nurse it or does it just go in the water? Well, I mean, on the like, cover, it's got nipples. See, he thinks he's going to be able to take care of these babies. It turns out that they are utterly like independent at birth and they just like. Yeah, like he's but he wants to know his kids. Maybe his kids will be like, I don't want to know you. And then he'll be like, yeah, maybe it's just that we don't like you. Maybe it's not that like mom kept you from us. It maybe it's that like that's what she said. They never came back to find him. They weren't like, yeah. I need to know my dad. Absolutely not. They weren't like looking you up in no. ancestry. No. So. You're just a bad dad. So well, anyway. she does have her cat. Her cat found her. The stray yeah. cat that she fed Tina to. But the thing is, just because you see a cat with a collar out in the country, that don't mean it's nobody's cat. That cat probably eats at eight different witness protection oh houses. There's one that uh, like harasses my dogs all the time here. It's the neighborhood cat. Yeah. Like, it's got a little Hitler mustache. And I'm very. Oh, I do love. I'm like. Kitty Hitlers. I'm like, no. <laughs> um so anyway so that that's the plot uh questions big dick energy or big dick energy? i mean he's got an enormous one and it's barbed yeah okay but so uh, the way that it describes his issues with sex with the female eels when you see it from his perspective it does sound really bad right but then you're like well is this kind of like a men going their own way thing but i don't know but he also said like i'm tired like when the the big eel like confrontation happens he says i'm tired of you raping me and so like yeah yeah so he is a survivor of sexual assault but is he really or is he just like a reverse incel but I mean, we only same, have his word for that. But at the same time, like he you can't. Know, I mean, they're they're all driven by their like eel. But it's rut. how he feels. He feels used and dirty and gross at the end of it. So I mean, we have to respect his feelings on this. His feelings on this. <laughs> his eelings. His eelings. I mean, I agree, but something about like his tone about it always. And then we meet those the female eels and their they boss. Did. But they're they, awesome. I mean, they're amazing, but they did like they did that, rape a dude to death. But he but was a what bad if, dude. But what if that guy had just been a guy? What if it had just been like Andy walking around? Well, what maybe they, they would have, have raped like, him to death. Maybe they would have just given him a little tickle. <laughs> what would have taken his little sperm like, sack? Just random Andy, who is not a gangland leader. Like he's just you know. A gangland, like, mid guy. But they made it clear that they were doing that partly because he tried to hurt a woman on their Fair trip. enough. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not. I, I'm very pro Lady Eels. <laughs> very pro the Lady Eels. I feel like we don't have the whole story. No. I, I, I left this book wanting more. Yeah, I did. I wanted to know more about what the Eel Society was like. I wanted to know if these Lady Eels have a council. I wanted to know if they elect people like, yeah, or if they have like to, a- like, we know that they have to fight for the rights to mate dudes. 
like, do they have to do that to be on the council? All right. Like the, the rapiest lady eels are like the queen eels. Yes. Like what, what? I need to know. I need to know how eel society works. Yeah, I agree. I don't think we have enough information. I did find his like oh, be, be, a little tedious. <laughs> yeah. And again, I see him as Voldemort. But he does have that little electroshock thing. Uh, which yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And like yeah. this girl came a lot. So it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, would you talk shit with her about the heroin? I mean, she's fine. Well, she's really nothing. She's There's nothing to her. Yeah, they don't even talk. I mean, the thing is, he. <laughs> this is all an impre- like a breeder fantasy. He never tells her that. Like, I just imagine, like, you know, what if he's all like, oh, yeah, I'm going to give her my sperm sacks. And meanwhile, she's like, hope this IUD is holding up. And like, he oh, has I no know. idea. It was like, it was... <laughs> Like, I, sorry, my husband is texting me about our chickens and how he doesn't like that the chickens are upsetting his family to landscaping. But, you know, anyway, yeah, no, she's just we know that she loves animals, which is uh, for, it's fair, yeah. foreshadowing for what. But she doesn't have any people personality <laughs> or yeah she's uh, dissatisfied with her job in the city even though she pays a fortune for that apartment so like why why do you pay a fortune for that apartment we know that she gets to like that she is dtf because she is down or she is dtfe down to fuck eels yes because she is in it she is in it from the beginning they are yeah yeah i mean like he's got quite the tongue there so yeah, she's fine she's whatever uh back to the bitch well, we do have Lady Eel, like... They're talking about a man, but they're not necessarily talking about fucking about a man. They're talking about, hey, you want me to rape this one to death? <laughs> I'll do it for you. I got this. I'm, I'm yeah. on it. Like, it is this weird, like, matriarchal society, but also, like, weird and... Yeah. 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 I, I don't think it technically passes. Probably not. No. because they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're also eels. It's also very short. <laughs> When it comes to consent, is this book more Marvin Thicker, Robin Thicker, Marvin Gaye? Well, for Rick, it is obviously <laughs> not. Rick is like, I don't want to do this. Ah. Well, honestly, it's a bit of a ravish at the beginning. Yes. By the time she is tickling his slit with her tongue. Yeah, she's into it. She's like, into it. I mean, but it starts out, she's literally drowning. She is drowning, and all of a sudden, an eel man comes and sits her on her face, uh, on his face, and makes her, comes her, her like, she just comes and brains out. Because he's got a forked tongue. We forgot about the forked tongue. That's like a vibrator. And it's like, you're like a snake. And it's crazy. Yes. I don't know if eels have tongues either. So I don't know. I did not look that up. Eel tongue. I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> it's essentially right. something that like the Romans ate at like fancy banquets. So yeah, like for for Rick though, Rick Rick poor yeah, Rick, not super consensual for Rick. No. But who the fuck cares? No, He's all we gay, know like, about Rick is that he was bald and wanted to rape her to death, and he was a cop killer. Which <laughs> whatever, but no, <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess like beating a cop in an alleyway is not that's great. not great. That's not, not that's, great. that's not really. And like, he says for the things people. like, "I'll get you for this." Like, if yeah. he had better lines, but yeah, he doesn't. And yeah, he was going to, like, he was trying to convince her to join the gang. I was as like, in, hey, like, I'll keep you as a concubine. Yeah, like, that's not a great uh, job offer there, you know? Um, how badly are you judging your mom off for reading this book? If my grandmother had this book, I'd fall over dead. I'd have fallen <laughs> well, over dead. Well, she might have read any number of eel fucking oh, books, oh and you God. wouldn't know. So, to be fair, my grandmother and I, the trash she think we ever watched, and, like, she watched some spring break movies with me, you mm-hmm. know. We watched this made-for-TV movie called The Abduction of Carrie Swenson, who is an Olympic biathlete who was, like, training, and she was abducted by a father-son combo in the mountains of wherever who wanted to, like, start their own, like, colony, and I was obsessed with it. <laughs> and that might be the trashiest thing I've ever seen, is keeping uh, Tracy Poland or whoever, like, tied to a tree with these two guys who are like, we're going to rape you. And I was like, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> it could be possible that my grandmother would have, like... I mean, like, she wouldn't have... <laughs> look, look, I was reading this thing on my candle next to my eight-year-old, and I was kind of, like, angling it real hard. I, I read lots of stuff next to him anyway, but this one, your eyes could have fallen on it, and you would have gotten an education, you yeah, know? So, so I, I mean, like, I, I, she, she could have... She could have possibly like read an, an eel sex book. Yeah, I mean we we don't know. We don't know. Let's yeah. say that she did. Yeah, I want that for her. <laughs> Crazy. This book was bonkers. Okay. <laughs> um, would Scarlett Johansson be in the movie? Well, I don't under. Are the eels white? <laughs> One was specifically told to have peach scales that 
They have different colors. Yeah. Like, so he's got like the pattern. some, and... like, different colored, you know, eels. But Rick. Has anybody ever met a Rick that's not, like, a white guy? Yeah, I saw a white guy. Like, a the, 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 the kind of white, bald guy who's got them. The, like hot, the, dog, the hot, hot dog neck. He's got hot dog neck. <laughs> hot yeah, dog Rick neck. definitely had hot dog neck. Yeah. And, yeah, but I think, like, yeah, you can't really apply this to eel world. Because nah. I feel like the eels were very... Multicultural. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know you don't either. Know. That's the thing about it. We don't know. That's true. We don't know. They could be more eels mixed up with some. That's a more. <laughs> I know that they weren't. Well, no, I know they weren't gay because the way that it's presented, it's like very much that rut thing. That like, oh a, yeah, you know. yeah. There's no. There's well, uh, yeah. But it's, it's not. It's not an omega verse situation. It's lady eel, male yes. eel. Yes, it is. Um, you're not leaving the house looking like that. No outfits. No outfits, just naked in, in eel in eel bodies. Although I would have liked to seen how she tied her clothes back together. Because that could have been cute. I would have liked to know like more about like eel fashion. <laughs> like, do they do things like make seaweed hats or whatever? I don't know. Oh, oh please let it be a seaweed hat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You get the impression it might be that the males are the only ones who zap because like he has patterns and the women yeah. don't have patterns. I so thought- I don't know. Uh, would your 12-year-old self have dog in any pages? Let's I talk about language in this. This whole book. Okay. Yeah, obviously it's fucking. So. And this, it was hot, but, you know. This book uses a lot of, like. Modern erotica terms? Yeah. So we have, we have. But it's not this. It's not. So we have C-U-M. Then we have C-U-M-M-E-D. But then we have C-A-M-E. And you have to pick one of them. Yeah. And I agree. I, I, one thing I hate, cummed. Because it's just utterly ungrammatical and it's trashy. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't care who you are. I don't mind C U M though. I don't, I don't mind love it. Love it. I prefer C O M E. I get it. Because it seems like you can't fucking spell. <laughs> but I mean, I get the same time. If somebody's just like straight up like raw dog and fuck it, like I don't mind that we're just putting that in there. Like because we're I mean, not trying you, to be polite about time. it. Like you know. I just I don't know. It's not I don't my like, favorite. I, but I don't like C U M M E. No, because that yeah. just like it sounds like you're a small child. Like yeah. I come to you. Like well, you know, it's came. It's obviously came. Yeah. You don't know how words yeah, work. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about cunt in this? Kind I of book? liked it in this one, and they, there is a part where she even says like that she had hated that word before, but like his usage of it, she and she enjoyed. How do you think it sounds when a guy with a forked tongue says it though? <laughs> <laughs> really a little lispy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Like, I don't mind it. So. It's always, okay, the first uh, time they say it, it's always a shock to me. I See, okay, so the words that I don't like for things, I was like, I would rather have that than when people infantilize things. Oh, like, no. If somebody says your boobs, I'm oh, like. Oh, yeah. And they, they did say boobs in this once. And yeah, I was like, like no. if you use boobs, I'm out. I'm yeah. like, oh, God, here we go. Yeah, okay. no, like, I'm no like, way. this is so stupid. Or when they say something even like, like my kitty or something. Like, any of that stuff. Yeah. Like, like pussy like, is fine. I see. I don't mind. I don't mind the 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 see you next Tuesday. Yeah, it's like, just that every time, like the first time I see it, I always go ah! because it lets me yeah. know that this is going to be a dirty book. That's true. Like That's this true. is how I know. Like oh, we're we're getting dick. Yes, you know because yeah, I don't I, I don't need war. Like I'd rather have that one than soft like, folds. Soft folds. Like give me give me see you next Tuesday. Every single time over softballs or her pedals or whatever. Oh, yeah. Pedals are terrible. Well, well, yeah. I mean, unless you've already said cunt and then you're being real specific about, you know, yes. what you really mean is that. And like, you know, he, yeah, he does discover her clit and stuff. Like, so it's like, yeah, because like, he, he's never fucked a human before. So, yeah, it's, like, kind of it's, it's a whole learning curve for him. And mm-hmm. like, but again, I want to know more about you'll. Well, he's a quick learner. Eel workings. I want to know what Lady Eels, like, what their business is. Like, give it, I, I need to know. Well, maybe maybe she'll write it. Maybe yes, get, and we can, we can interview her and be like, tell me how you did this. <laughs> what pairs nicely with a dumpster fire? I'm thinking like a one of those like blue drinks. Oh, the yeah. Swim-up bar. Like we need the blue. Like what's the aqua whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Like, one of those kind of things. It's got like. Yes. It, it, it tastes like it has no I needed in it. to come in a fishbowl. Oh, yeah. I needed to have two straws. And I needed a to gummy possi- shark. I needed to possibly be. Like some kind of date rape joke in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, entirely. Like, yes, and like a little treasure chest, and like I, bet. I want to drink it at a swim up bar, and the pool is at least seventy percent urine. Yes, exactly. That's what I want, <laughs> and I want an eel man to serve it to me. It's gonna be at least warm. 
I love that for us. <laughs> <laughs> so should a human being in the 21st century read this book? Absolutely. Honestly, though, I would say I, I, when I first read that, I was like, of course you want the backstory. Skip to chapter five, y'all. Just skip to chapter I, five. I, I appreciate it. Although you want to miss Rick getting raped to death. And yes. I did... Low we key. need that. Enjoy we, it. we need that. We need to know like Feminism. about eel politics. I think honestly, if she does make it into a full length, I think all that needs is like a round of an editor to be like, okay, let's like work on some of this uh-huh. because it's there. And like, I honestly want to read her other one about the centaur because there's two schools of thought about centaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is the dick? Yeah. Is, is well, also, where's the heart is what I thought you were going to say, but okay, sure. Okay. But like, <laughs> okay, if you're with a centaur man, yeah. is it is is it the horse dick? It's the horse dick. Or is it it's the a hor- man dick? Because otherwise it would just be out there all the time, just flopping. He'd be running does through he the have thing. like a slit thing too? Like that's the question. Well, neither horses nor men have a slit thing. Well, eels, eel men, we don't know. Like I, what no, I'm I saying is like, <laughs> we, no, we can fix it. Like, I think that they're like salmon. They just spawn on stuff. <laughs> So, I mean, I just, thought you were going to say, where's the rib cage? Because they're there, too. And I thought you were going to say, how many hearts does it have? No, but no okay. I mean, I'm obviously, like, those are questions. Uh, you're but, assuming it only has one butthole. Well, <laughs> but if the torso goes in, he's got the front, like, you know. He's it's got to be the horse dick. It's the front piece. If it's not smooth on at the front, the, like, you would have had to look at it all the time. It's with the minotaur. That makes sense. Because he's, like, upright. Like, he's just on... Two legs hanging out. We know. Can you imagine the majestic centaurs running past and it's just giblets just tossing around? But if it's in like a, fo- a soft fold that just comes <laughs> out. Like, this is a very real question. Like, we don't know. I mean, I would have, uh, but how, okay, in, in, like, I'm interested in Harvey Alexa's, like, centaur, but because, like, how is the person getting. You get, like, a weightlifting bench. But what I'm saying, like, it does, like, but you know, if you're gonna have, like, if you're gonna write different positions, are you just gonna throw the center? You can't put it on its back. I mean, <laughs> like a turtle with its legs yeah. up, and like, you know, they're they're bouncing up and down. Like, you're that's more what, limited in positions. Yes, like, you, there's only one. There's only one that works, and that gets boring after a while. So that's what I want to know about the centaur man. Like, if you if you give him just when you think you're done, the second dick comes out. <laughs> Like, does he have two? Yes. Does he have one that the centaur could hold you and, like, bounce you on? And then he's got his horse one that does other things. Like, is he a two-dicked creature? No. You don't Because know. I cannot imagine <laughs> them leaping across streams and stuff. Well, they had to have, like, a centaur jock strap, Again, but only on the front. It can be a soft <laughs> fold, and it comes out. Life finds a way. <laughs> so, you don't know. You can't speak from experience. How do you know? I was a horse girl. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, were you a centaur girl? Like, were you just banging centaurs? I mean, I want to know about that if you are. Like, but <laughs> you have don't. to pick your, like, where you want to be in the mythology of it. Yeah. You know? I'm just sorry. I think the mythology is clear that it would have mentioned in, like, Ovid and Homer and stuff. The well, centaurs, they're not thinking about where the dick yes, is. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, they don't have Herodotus the... Herodotus would have told you about that. They don't have the imagination. I bet we can find somewhere in there where the <laughs> a centaur has two dicks. If it's got two hearts, it's got two dicks. It almost has to have two hearts. That's two yes. cages. How would you pump enough, uh, like, blood otherwise? I mean, a horse requires a lot of blood, and so does a part of a person. Yeah, exactly. Maybe all the centaurs are ladies. Could be. Yeah. I'll never know. Yeah, but then you better be like a hell of a man to lay Maybe that centaur book is about a man having to fuck a centaur. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's not like, you yeah. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that, that horse, is, horse mm-hmm. lady is mm-hmm. just perpetually disappointed. Oh, like, I thought you meant a boy centaur. I thought this was a butt thing. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, see, I also don't know. Um, I guess we had to read it to find yeah, out. Yeah, we had to read it. I but can tell you one thing is a paranormal romance will just tell you. Yes, that's the if greatest thing If they had had that them. when we were kids. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, because no romance novel ever describes what a dick looks like. Yeah. This no. one, they tell you. Like, it's barbed. It's got things. What color is it? How wide oh, it is? this one was a big black barb business. Uh, and I was like, here Like, are we it. talking like a Coke can? Are we talking like a baby's yes, arm? Yes, they tell like, you, like, y'all, yeah. you can't wrap your hands around. I'm like, this yeah, seems... Yeah, this is what I'm asking for. This seems for. like a lot of work, but you know what? Yeah, like, every day, I don't know. Do you not have another one you could swap that out for? Oh this God, like your like, daily yes. driver? Like, this is... Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, this has been Bonus Stiflers. Happy birthday to me. Monster fucking. <laughs> Should we say which one it is or won't you let me? They can just count back because we did 40 for 40 a certain number of years ago. I'm um, 39. So it's fine. Okay. <laughs> this is my Eel 39 book. Um, you know, how many years back? Shut up. It's fine. Um, I'm, I'm not sad that I'm older than the matriarchs in most romance novels. Or me. You're not. You're older than me. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that. But anyway, this has been Bada Stiplers, and you can find us at com. You can find us at Facebook, Bada Stiplers, Twitter, until it implodes at B Tipplers, Instagram Bada Stipplers. And if you want to throw some money our way, you know, buy me a birthday drink. It's patreon.com slash Bada Stipplers. And this has been Electrified by the Eel. Bada Stipplers is part of the Frolic Network. Find more podcasts you'll love at frolic.media slash podcasts.